guys, today I want to talk about racket cleaning. So there are many options available. Um, it's not rocket science, it's actually pretty easy to get your rackets clean. Um, the basic options are the standard brushes and we have a look at them and then there's also an option available to give it a bit more of a thorough clean. So what I like to use for that is one of these spin cleaners, which is the Knosti Spin Anti-Static Racket Cleaner. Um, it works with some liquid, um, so it's, it's a bit of a consumable. Um, and uh, we will also look into making our own liquid for this record cleaner and you can also use that liquid to spray it onto a record and then to wipe it off. So first let's get started with uh, these two here. Um, so these are just very simple uh, brushes um, that you would use to wipe over the record to get some dust um, out of it. So I'll give you a simple demonstration. So you just take your record and you just wipe all around it. So that's how it works. Um, got two sides, one is a bit rougher and the other one a bit finer. Um, so very simple thing. Um, this is another incarnation of it. Um, so the difference uh, with this is only got the single side but it got um, a little brush included. So the brush that is included here, um, this is obviously not for the record, that's for the stylus. So when you play your records, your stylus will collect a lot of, of dust and stuff on it and it's really important to keep it clean. Um, so and with this brush you can clean it easily, so it's quite helpful to have one. Um, and other than that it's pretty much the same, some soft material here on top of it and you just wipe over the record in a circular motion. Um, so that gets you a very basic clean of the record, but, it, but it's not going very deep and it's also not doing anything about static on your record. Um, what's also available is uh, this spray cleaner. So these solutions are all very cheap. I think you can get this for 10, 15 bucks. Same here, 15, 20 bucks probably. So this cleaner comes with a, with a red cloth that you use together with it. And the way it works is you just spray it onto the record then wipe it off. Pretty much the same. The difference here is that, that you probably get a bit more of the record and it also affect the static of the record so that you get rid of some of the crackling um, out of it. Um, another option um, that is available and, and, and something that you should definitely have um, it's, it's a carbon fiber brush, um, so the, the main purpose of the carbon fiber brush is actually not cleaning. Um, the main purpose is to get rid of static on your record. Um, so these carbon fibers are not very good in cleaning, um, but they are conductive. So when you wipe over the record with it, um, it will basically take up the static. And what is important at the end, you hit the center of the record player, uh, which is the spindle, and this is usually connected to ground and that would then um, help you effectively to get rid of the static of the record. So well, what I also want to talk about is um, this one, so it's, it's a little bit weird, um, it's similar to these, uh, these rolling things that you use to get uh, fibers of your cloth, so you, you peel, peel it off your layer by layer and then go over the record and it will kind of have everything sticking onto that. Uh, it's a bit of a relic of the past, I've never seen that anywhere recently available. It's probably out of the 70s and I just wanted to show it. Um, a very important thing is to keep the stylus clean. Um, what I got here is, is a very very nice um, stylus cleaner. It has a very interesting uh, brush on top of it and it has on the back a little lens with magnification. Um, so with this cleaner you can check very easily how clean your stylus actually is and, and you can clean it pretty good. Yeah? If you can see that anywhere I can highly recommend to buy it. I'm not sure from, from where or how did I get it. Okay, so now let's have um, a look at, uh, at the dirty record and let's give it a test play and, and after we're done with that um, we will get the Knosti record cleaner ready, give it a good clean and then have a look at it again and play it again. Okay, so this is the record we are listening to. It looks quite dusty and dirty. And I also put the microscope to good use and you get a bit of an idea how dirty this record really is. 
And this is actually a copy of the Alan Parsons project Gaudi. So let's have a listen to it. Okay guys, so we have confirmed that the record uh, definitely needs a bit of a good clean. Um, so we're using this spin cleaner for that. Um, so before we go ahead, I just wanted to show what, what comes together with the kit. So obviously um, that is the part where the record goes into and that you use then to spin it through the tank. Um, there are also um, some versions that have a bit of handle on it. Um, it's not really required, it's not that hard to, to turn that around. Um, so this is the tank then. And the record goes in and uh, in the bottom of the tank there is this uh, stand hidden um, so this is um, the place where the record would go then to dry off um, you can work on plenty of records and leave them there to dry and it also collects in the liquid that's dropping off the record so the idea is to collect as much of the liquid as possible and to pour it back into the bottle. Um, so that's a bottle with a cleaning liquid. So it comes with one liter of cleaning liquid. And um, so you use this funnel then basically to pour that um, um, that uh, um, liquid back into the into the bottle from, from the tank here and from uh, the uh, records which were kept here to dry to collect. Um, and what's also included is this little adapter. So this is uh, if you want to clean signals in the, in the spin cleaner. All right, so all we have to do to get it ready is to pour um, some of the liquid in there. So it's quite a bit. So we have to fill it approximately up to this point with liquid. So There's quite a bit of liquid that goes into the spin cleaner. So let's do that. Good, and as the next step, we just need to attach a tool to the record. Here we go. And put it into the tank, and then just spin it a bit. Maybe also a bit to the other side. much all it takes. So now we can remove the record from the tank, make sure that we are not wasting too much from the liquid and remove the tool from it. And that's it. So now we just have to wait for five minutes or so um, for the record to clean um, and if we do no longer need um, the, um, the record cleaner so then we will pour the, the liquid back into the, into the bottle but something that we can do now it doesn't work too well but it's okay in this funnel, you might have noticed that also has a bit of a filter paper included. So the idea is to um, to filter the liquid as you pour it back into the bottle and capture some of the uh, the dust and the uh, and the dirt that you have removed from the record, and that it's not not going back when you next time use the tank into the tank and on another record. Um, so that the filter in here is not very effective. Um, and I will later show that there's quite a lot of um, um, stuff in that liquid and uh, it's a good idea to, to make some, some new liquid and, and use the uh, speed cleaner with that. Okay, so maybe we use the time uh, while this is drying here um, to make actually some new liquid. Um, there are two main ingredients um, that you would need for that. Um, the most of it is actually demineralized water. Um, you can also use distilled water. 
But I was told that the demineralized water is um, better because it guarantees you that there are no minerals in it. Sometimes in the distilled water there are still minerals in it and you don't want to have them on the record. Um, so this is a 2 liter demineralized water bottle and I think it was $1.70. So that's not really expensive. And um, another big part of it is actually isopropyl. Um, so I bought this 250 milliliters for about $10. Um, comes in a, in a spray bottle, something that's not required. But that was the only form I was able to find it here in Australia. Um, and another thing that you would need, you would need a wetting agent. And what you can use for that is actually just some um, dish cleaner, dishwashing liquid. Um, and you will only need, need a, a tiny amount of that. Um, and um, so all of that needs to go together in, in, in a certain ratio. So what we basically do is we will use 800 milliliter of um, the water, 200 milliliter of the isopropyl, and we will need five milliliters of the uh, dishwashing liquid. Um, so I have a cup here to measure that. So that would take uh, 1000 ml. I put 800 ml in it. Okay. Give it a little bit more because I plan to use the whole bottle, which is actually 250 ml. And uh, to measure 5 ml, I mean, you can use different methods to do that. There are some 5 ml cups, but just a plain teaspoon is a little bit less than 5 ml. So we just use that. container it's a chemical container it's from old pool chemicals it's cleaned of course so I poured that part already uh, back into this bottle okay and the final bit that is missing is the isopropyl so we'll just fill it up so it's one liter I probably don't get um, the whole 250 in it, but I just pour in as much as I can of it. That's it. All right, and and that's it. Now we just have to mix it a little bit, and we got a liter of uh, fresh liquid for record cleaning. And um, that will be probably a lot better than um, the old mixture that I'm still having there. And I just pour a little bit into a glass for you and then you can see how, how dirty actually this, this mixture already actually gets over time. Okay guys, just to give you an idea about, about the liquid and, and how much dirt it actually pits, picks up. Um, so that's the fresh mixture that we have created. So it's pretty much clear like water and that's how it looks after I've used it a number of times. So there are even some particles on the on the bottom. Uh, you probably can't see it now because it's too cloudy, but definitely there's a lot of stuff that is getting removed from the record, from the record cleaner. Okay guys, in the meantime, the record has dried and uh, I must say the result is pretty good. It looks really, really clean. And also under the microscope, you will see that, that the record looks a lot better than it did before. So now let's give it a test play and see how it actually sounds. Success! Still some crackling left. Cleaning doesn't turn an old record into a new one but definitely a huge improvement compared to before. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.